Tangling hair. Gross. That little, that like little celery stalk sticking out of its skull is tangling me up. That's gross. Where did I get my streaming 3DS from? Japan. I, I, I had them customize a, a brand new one for me. A company called Katsu Kitty. Very hit or miss quality though, but unfortunately there's just not very many people that can do capture cards, so you kind of like have to throw a caution to the wing and wind and hope that it doesn't fuck you over. But you have a long time lurker, great stream. I'm sorry the game isn't living up to your hopes. I can understand your frustrations with it. I just hope I don't run into anything that might make me feel wonky towards the game. I mean, and this is one of those things too where it's like, I love Pokemon. I don't want people to think I'm shitting on Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I just, I just feel that everything about this game... It's just not... Thematically, I can't get into it. Yet, at least. Um, the, po the Pokemon League and the Pokemon Gym Battles were a very, very, very big selling point for me. There's always been something, and you guys know me, like, we do pit fights. You know, the, the, like, you know I like sanctioned fights, I like scheduled fights, I like fair fights. And for me, like, walking into a gym and having them actually have, not like, not the stupid gyms where you're like, you know, spinning around on icicle shafts trying to refract light to open up the gym door so that the gym leader, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, I liked it back when y your character walked into a gym and there was like the lines and the scoreboard and the officiator. And if you won, you got a badge, you got a trophy, and you needed these trophies. That's fine. I love that stuff. And the Pokemon League, like, Coliseum is filled with people. Formalized, sanctioned fights. I love that. I love that so much. Um, I basically feel like this game, this new game, is one huge filler episode of, a po of like, the worst filler kind for Pokemon. Are there no gym leaders in this version? There are. They're called kahunas. Kahunas. And they are, they are like tribal King Big Hoopa of their, of their island. I don't even know if that's even necessarily it. I think what we just did here is the gym fight. You go and fight Pokemon in a cave and you s make a snazzy pose and then you grab a rock, then you get a piece of rock. I think the setting the setting would be fine if they didn't try to obviously make it Hawaii. Like calling it Alola and having towns that are just literal near misspellings is cheesy as hell. It is super cheesy. Like, the whole island is a tutorial zone before the real game opens up. That, that won't be the case, guys. <laughs> I love the optimism, though. Is this as far as you've got with the game, or have you played more off-stream or something? Seems very early in the game to have settled on an opinion about it. I don't really have an opinion on it yet. I think I'm being very, very open and fair. I have said very clearly that I enjoy the combat system of the game. Uh, I, l I think it's the best that it's ever been. I think that immediately from what they've presented, the stuff that they have, like, cultural-wise about the game, I just don't like. I'm not saying it's a bad game at all. I'm saying that a as a 
Generation 1 original Pokemon fan, uh, everything that was likable about it's not in it anymore. You know it would be cool? Imagine a Pokemon game, but done like Ark Survival Evolved. I, I don't think that a first-person game would be very good for this, to be honest. Dead. Like, at its core, Pokemon is Pokemon. Pokemon is Pokemon. It's just... This feels like it's all gussied up without a whole lot of, uh... necessary substance. It's like they smashed a whole bunch of, of, of um... animes together. I've been here since Gen 1 as well, but around Gen 4 to 5, things needed to be changed. It was getting very, very stale. Plus, the story in this generation is superb compared to last games. I mean, it would, ne it would need to be superb to even be remotely interesting, though. That's, that's the thing. The pickup in the boss room? I'll go check on that in a second. I'm not even, like, catching anything even in here. Just having my Pokemon just, like, eat things alive. <laughs> 3DS question, but is it worth buying a new 3DS over the old one for somebody with a low budget? Um, I want to say no. I want to say no. I don't think it's that much of a difference. I don't think it's that much of a difference at all, to be honest. Um, I think that the only problem you'll run into is whether or not, and I don't know if Nintendo tends to do this, are there any N N3DS exclusive games? Does the, do, are there requirements for some games require you to have the N3DS to use it? Make sure to clean Pokemon after fights. Fuck that. I don't want to clean my Pokemon after fights. There's enough extra screens that I have to get through because of this stupid Pokedex. A mini game to clean my Pokemon on another screen is not something I'm interested in. I'm not. I'm just not. It'll probably be super rest required though. There was a pickup in here? Are you sure there was a pickup in here? Yes, you have the option to clean your Pokemon and make them happy and fight better. That's right, I want them covered in the blood of my enemies. Maybe me, me, take a picture. Oh, I took a picture. No, no, no pictures here? Okay. There's like Xenoblade Chronicles, but not a big list of them. Do you think there's a big risk for them to possibly do convert over over the next two to three years so that only the N3DS works? Looks like we need Rock Smash for that, yeah. Would Brick Break work? I don't have Brick Break on anybody. Wants to learn Roar. Roar. You're a scratch. You 
You want an adult Pokemon game now where Pokemon actually kill each other? I'm I'm working on on the spiritual successor to uh, Monster Rancher. We're assembling our programming team right now for it, and uh, it's an, it's going to be basically the things that made Monster Rancher one and two really 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 good, uh, except just make it a little bit darker, a little bit grittier. That's the goal. The the best part though, the best part about that game is gonna be how you how you get your monsters. The best part about that game is gonna be how you how you get your monsters. It it's one of those things where I wouldn't want to overhype it, but the way I envision the game, I, I really believe that if Monster Rancher 1 and 2 was released nowadays, or at least a little bit later, it could have been massively successful. Massively, massively successful if they didn't stray off their path. But... Are you going to make it to where we can summon monsters using old-ass CDs? Um, I actually don't know if we're going to be doing anything like that with a physical component, simply because uh, I can't think of any device now that has a CD-ROM drive that is not electronic, and you will burn your motors out doing that, and I don't think people would be happy with that. So, we might offer that if we can... We gotta check the budget on it, but we might do a traditional means of, like, using CDs and DVDs, or Blu-ray, but we got, we got other awesome ways of doing it right now. And I love this man. If you could do anything that brings back MR1 and MR2, so good. That's my mission. Three was terrible. Four was a good attempt at getting back on track. And five was just whatever the hell that was. The DS release could have really helped their, their market, but we got it six years too late. And thus it looked like a dated piece of garbo. But yeah, everything that made those games good. Plus all the things that technology did not allow for at that time. Such as online play, trading, PvP, uh, you know, the equivalent of like these pock and uh, beauty pageants, you know, having, having stuff like that. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great if, if we can get it done. We some Digimon and making a game like the original Digimon 1 on PS1. I heard the new Digimon Worlds was supposed to be really good. I hated Digimon though. I never liked Digimon. I never liked any of the shows or any of the games where the monsters that you were raising could talk to you. I hated that so, so much. Monster Rancher was a cartoon where all the monsters could talk. The game came out before the show. And they didn't used to do that. It was... Ugh. Hate it. Why is your... Today's broadcast split to videos of 20 minutes and 8... Or 20 minutes and 8 seconds length because Meow is actually taking our footage. She's working we're, we're, uh, right, right now what we're doing is we're combining our efforts um, Because I have had less time for YouTube and I want to have mo a lot of my playthroughs and whatnot up She is cutting up the stream into 20 minute segments and uploading them to YouTube and at the end I'm gonna be editing things together and making like a sum up video for Twitch So yeah See you, Odin Include the tribe, please inform our island Kahuna. Hala. Hey there, Tangent. Oh, looking at that expression on Lima's face. I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z Power. Woo.
Start off by selecting a compatible Z-Crystal from the Z-Crystal's pocket in your bag. Yeah! Then use the Z-Crystal you chose on a Pokemon. Z-Crystal compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type of the crystal. And you'll be able to use Z-Power in battle. And don't worry, you can use your Z-Crystals over and over on as many Pokemon as you want. Watch and learn, cousin. It's holding a Normalium Z, and you choose a normal type move. You can use Z Power. Check it out. Breakneck Blitz. All the moves change? Oh, fucking weeb it out, man. It's cool looking. It definitely is very cool looking. That is a lot of transitional time, though. It's uh, it's it's definitely a, a, a Naruto attack. But like. When I saw Snorlax do his Z move, and they had like the name, the title of the move at the bottom, I thought that was an overlay. I didn't know we were gonna have to watch the name of that move the whole time throughout that. See you, Drift Monkey. How's he running about moving his feet? I know, no animation for it. What's the best way to voice how bad this game is to Game Freak? Email, Twitter, Facebook? Oh, I don't think anybody should go out of their way to put down this game. There's clearly a lot of work put into this game. Those animations, drawings and whatnot. Somebody poured their heart and soul into that. It's just... I don't know why they did it. I just don't know why they did it. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these will lead to victory. Rising Star Ian. Psyduck. I'll try the, the, the Normium thing in a moment. I'd roar at you. Ouch. Well then, good to see you, my friend. Oh, the burn! Damn it, I thought we were gonna get it. Toracat knocked out for the first time. Wasted EXP, you fucker! I hate when that happens. Oh, never mind. They split the EXP. Cool. That's nice, at least. Maybe there's a new thing going on back in Japan. Let's see. Pokemon. Restore. For the revive.
All right, now look for 